Coming up on today's episode... Good morning, YouTube. Here with you on a Saturday at 9.57 now in the morning. Um, um, not in OBS. <laughs> that may surprise you. This is just cheese. Um, and I wanted to do this uh, real quick and ask, pose a question for you all about a circuit. I'm going to display a circuit on the uh, video. I'm going to leave it up there for a little bit and let you look at it. And I want to know something about it and that is the fact that the place that uh, I have pointed out in the um, with a little red arrow you should see a red arrow on it uh, I want to know what kind of signal is going to be available there uh, basically if I if I put a capacitor over that a proper size capacitor I want to I want to reiterate something that will pass um, IF type frequencies. That's basically what I'm trying to get at. Uh, a capacitor that will pass that. In other words, if I couple that from that point to wherever I go, what signal will be available there? I want you guys to think about that. Uh, most of you probably will recognize this as a, uh, a mixer oscillator, whatever you want to call it. And uh, I'm, I'm, I'm in the process, and I don't know that I'm going to for sure, but I may be acquiring another radio, believe it or not. Um, the uh, radio in question this time does not have IF cans in it. Um, it has, um, in fact, it has no tubes in it either. And uh, frankly, I haven't been able to find a schematic for it. So uh, that's one of the reasons, one of the holdups I'm, I'm getting it. Um, if I can't find enough information on it, I may not try to get it. Uh, again, getting it at a reasonable cost, and it is an older radio. It is, uh, I believe, I believe from the 40s, maybe, uh, probably mid 40s, I would say. Uh, the uh, you know uh, well actually early to mid 40s I would say and uh, basically uh, I think it even has a um, uh, field coil on it I think it's not a uh, permanent magnet speaker um, so basically and I, and I, I know it uses octal tubes and it is a uh, AA5 radio so uh, but but neither one of the IF cans are there, transformers, whatever you want to call them. And I, I'm trying to get at an idea of, you know, because most of your, you guys know, most of your uh, uh, setups on these radios run the power for the uh, mixer os oscillator tube through the uh, primary coil of the first IF transformer. And that in turn couples the you know, output of that couples the signal from that to the rest of the stages. But now, what if you don't have that? And what if you just run the power directly to the plate? Is that 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 signal is still going to be there? Correct. I mean, that's my assertion, and it's just a matter of getting it from there to another place. <laughs> I guess is, that's kind of the best way of explaining it that I can explain it. Um, and my idea is this is all tied into the hybrid radio. You guys may recall that. Uh, I haven't given up on that. It's just I haven't worked on it for a while. But um, the uh, I want to develop uh, an IF that can be used in case of something like this. In other words, these these radios deserve. I mean, the radio that that I, I'm I'm may gonna may be getting. I'll learn to talk one of these days. <laughs> um, is uh, a, a nice looking radio. It's a it's a uh, Bakelite uh, cabinet. Uh, it, cabinet's pretty good shape. The radio itself don't look bad. Even the insides, and that's kind of one of the uh, odd things about it is that it really looks like it's not been molested or anything like that. It almost looks like there's never been any IF cans in this 
this radio. So, um, you know, I, I, I just, I know there's probably not a lot of these out there, but, you know, at the same time, there are some that maybe, maybe you've got one that's got silver mig migration. It, it, maybe that's the case. Uh, wouldn't it be handy to have uh, a kind of a plug-in IF section that one could be used in case of, uh, you know, missing IF or not working IF? I think it would be. Um, uh, the reason, you know, I'm, I'm going the route of the capacitor instead of a coil, and it doesn't have to be that way, but mostly your transistor, uh, uh, transistorized IF sections, I don't know that they would handle the, the amount of voltage that uh, the uh, that will go through that primary coil. I mean, the, these are little cans. You guys have seen them, the little transistor cans on circuit board. So I don't know that they, they would handle that. And that would be my uh, only problem. I'm gonna, I'm gonna find out. Uh, that's one of those experiments coming up on the hybrid radio, and uh, so we're gonna see just how well one of these little transistorized um, uh, IF cans will handle uh, the 90 or 100 volts, whatever it takes, on uh, an AA5 radio for that mixer oscillator tube. And if it, if it works out, you know, that's good. Because, you know, when you're looking at these uh, transformers, you're, you're looking just that. You have two sections that are not physically connected. They are inductively connected. And so, therefore, when you run, you know, a current or voltage through the, <clears throat> excuse me, primary, uh, it doesn't have any effect. On, and this is DC voltage I'm talking about. It doesn't have any effect on the uh, secondary. Uh, it doesn't induce voltage there, really. So, <clears throat> only the signal coming back through is what induces the voltage into the secondary. So, I'm going to get over this cold maybe by summer. I don't know. <coughs> anyway, it is uh, that's uh, kind of the thing I've been thinking about since I, I found this radio. And like I said, I'll, I may be able to get it at a pretty good price. And... Uh, I kind of would like to see if this is possible. I know there's been some experiments done in this field because uh, Bob was pointing out yesterday that the guys over at uh, Fun With Tubes, if you guys uh, know of that group, uh, have been uh, talking, have talked about it in the past. And so, you know, it's just something I, I kind of piques my interest. You guys know how I am about. Uh, things like that and this is something that's always been around in my head uh, since I started messing with electronics I mean basically uh, hybrid type you know radios and things like that have always been there and uh, I've always wanted to mess with them and so once I get this uh, tuner section uh, RF section done on the Motorola and get that in a little case or whatever I'm gonna start start in earnest on doing more experiments like this so that's my thoughts on that I, I wanted to let you guys know that I'm not all about OBS and live broadcasts and stuff like that I, I'm, I'm a little bit more wider uh, than that <laughs> in my in my um, uh, interest I guess is what I'd say so like I said that's what I'm thinking about and I, I really didn't want to make that big a long video but I did so let me know your thoughts in the comments and you know uh, on that and and just I, I kind of want to know because I think that signal will be there regardless because that DC f feeding the uh, plate is only powering the uh, tube it's not really doing anything else so it doesn't have to go through that coil uh, I mean it, it can go just on a straight line and that's that signal should still be there and uh, so that's my thoughts on that. So let me know what yours are. So you guys have a great day. Thank you so, so much for watching. And we will see ya. Mm -hmm.